Hi, I am Arina Webster, your host for Inspiring Author TV, the only show that inspires authors to write and share with them hits and tips on how to publish and market their books. And today we have a wonderful guest here, Barbara Yates Roswell. Barbara is a published author of seven books. So welcome, Barbara. Thank you very much. So, Barbara, can you tell us about your books and what inspired you to write them in the first place? I suppose really that the abiding interest is in people. I'm fascinated by people. I love meeting new people. Um, I'm fascinated by their attitude towards each other and have to work out why this couple at this table are not speaking to each other, you know, and why that couple over there is talking and talking their heads off and so on. It all fascinates me. And I suppose eventually that became, uh, with a, a love for writing anyway, that I wanted to write books about people. Right. So I tend to uh, write about the sort of people I would be likely to know, so there are mm -hmm. no terrible baddies in my books. Mm -hmm. Um, there are some, unfortunately, unpleasant people. Uh, what I've done, I suppose, is to place a, an obstacle in the way yeah. of a character mm -hmm. and then work out how they're going to overcome the obstacle and win mm -hmm. through in the end. Yeah, so what books have you written? Well, the first one I did was a, a juvenile historical thing about Australia, about mm -hmm. the Third Fleet in 1790-something, and um, that is currently out of print. So the first one I actually uh, had published, I, I did privately, and it was mm -hmm. Dutch Point. And Dutch Point is very largely based on the area that I now live in mm -hmm. here in Australia. Um, I have taken the, the basic facts of the development of this place over mm -hmm. the, what, century or so since they first started coming up here and, uh, and woven the story around it. Mm -hmm. So that, I tried and mm -hmm. tried and tried to get it published uh, with no success at all, so in the mm -hmm. end I, I put the bit between okay. my teeth and I did and it myself. And this is uh, something interesting? <clears throat> now this is very different. This is Clara, and Clara was a real person, and her picture is on the back of the book. Uh, Clara was a German Jewess, and she came to live with my family in England in 1939. Right. And uh, that was, I was a small girl at the time, and that was quite, a, quite a, a major incident in my life that we had at a time when you had very few uh, foreigners mm -hmm. that you would meet in uh, England at that time. Mm -hmm. um, she came and she was very foreign and very German and uh, it was quite fascinating for me and I kept in touch with her on or off for the rest of her life and we became very good friends towards the end. She used to come and have tea with me on Wednesday. Lovely. <laughs> and this is uh, the third book? Uh, this is a collection of short stories because I started as a short story writer. I sold, mm -hmm. I was moderately successful I think. I sold to mm -hmm. most of the major magazines and on the continent and so on. This was in England before we emigrated. And um, one day, not so very long ago, a few years back, I suddenly thought I've got all these stories, all these short mm -hmm. stories, which are never going to see the light of day again. What can I do with them? So I collected 20 of them in, wow. okay, in so that one. This is a collection That's of short stories? a collection stories. of short stories that go back to the 1960s, when I first wow. started writing them. Yes. And I've now done, since then, I've done yeah. another one, and I'm doing another one this year. Yeah. And four more you have. And I have others as well. And right. they're all, they're not the same story by any means, uh -huh. but they all pose problems for the characters, and that's what I enjoy about it, wondering how to get them out of a mess. Great, great. Barbara, how did you publish your book? Books like, uh, can you explain us the way of publishing? Well, after having done Dutch Point privately mm -hmm. in England, uh, I was looking for a way because the publishing system now is not 
friendly towards people like me, unfortunately. Yes, yes, you understand that. And uh, I was looking for an alternative. And I used to take um, a British um, magazine, writer's magazine, mm -hmm. And one day I was looking through it, and I must have seen this advertisement many times before, but it just jumped out at me that time, and it was Trafford in Canada, and I thought, I'm going to get in touch with them, and I did. And I've done all my publishing since then with Trafford, and it has mm -hmm. been, it's been a pleasure, whereas the one that I did, that was the Juvenile Historical, that uh -huh. was done by one of the publishers in Melbourne, was not a happy time for me at all. But these have these have been great because I'm in charge and I like that. Okay, so and also we would be interested to know, did you have any difficulties with publishing, marketing and promoting your books? Everything. Was, yeah. Everything, yes, everything. Yes, everything. <clears throat> the main problem is that the major publishers and many of the minor publishers are not looking for well, I think they're not looking for the things that people actually want to read. There's right. a small market for the sort of books they're publishing. Mm -hmm. And I know several of my friends and people that I've got to know recently through writing have said, um, you go to the bookshops and there's nothing there that you actually want to read. Because mm -hmm. most, I mean, we talk all the time about being an aging population. Mm -hmm. And older people actually don't want their socks knocked off with shock, do they? You know, they want to read something which gives them a pleasant evening or whatever. And mm -hmm. about people that they recognize and so on. So that they can be involved in it. I hope that's what I do. I think it's what I do. Um, but because of that, I could not get through into the major publishing scene at all. Nor, and mm -hmm. with that, of course, goes all the other stuff. Mind you, doing it through Trafford also gives you um, exposure on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And to my astonishment, discovered that there is an Amazon India, and I'm on that one too. <laughs> so, yeah. so that was rather funny. Um, yes. I think uh, I think it's a very good yeah. way to go, and I think it's the way of the future. I think the old publishing systems are not going to last for forever by any means, and of they're course, not yeah. they're not really looking for the sort of people that I am, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. So you market your book basically through Amazon. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and through Trafford, you can buy it through Trafford. Okay. And have you done any promotion for your book? Books. Yes, I have. I had a, a display in Angus and Robertson many years ago for uh -huh. Dutch Point. And they closed down, unfortunately. And they closed down, but that was yeah. not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yes, I've done a fair amount of promotion, but fairly locally, obviously. Uh -huh. Just speaking. I had, uh, I had a very people. nice. Uh, yeah, I do some speaking. Uh -huh. I had a very nice book launch last year, February of last year for um, this one and the, the, mm -hmm. the, the other one, the other collection of short stories. Uh, and that was very good. That's, uh, that helped. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of coverage in the uh, community newspapers and so on for people who are doing this kind okay, of Okay, so you make uh, local media involved, yeah. uh, like working with you. Yeah. So, yeah, that's very good. So Barbara, what recommendations uh, would you give new authors who is listening to us at the moment, like about writing, publishing, marketing and promoting? Because you have some sort of experience. Well, my experience says go for someone like Trapper. There's, there's a whole lot of these mm -hmm. print-on-demand people now, yes, and they're yes. good. Um, and, and go for them, because the big fellas are not going to look at us. Mm -hmm. and it's a waste of time. I mean, I've done it through, I've had three agents in my time, it still didn't help. That's right. So it's no good saying, I mean, a lot of, of uh, publishers now anyway won't take it unless it comes through an agent. Yeah. So if you've got an agent and they still won't accept it, where do you go next? So I go for that. But the great warning is they do not proofread you. So if you don't know your own okay. language, if you can't write properly, if you don't know how to punctuate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for heaven's sake, get off and go cycling or something. But don't write books. 
mm -hmm. because they are not going to do what the publishers in the old time used to do, which is you send them their, your scrawled books full of notes and things, they put it together, they edit it, they do all the job for you. They will not do that mm -hmm. if you go to a POD, um, right. print-on-demand yeah. publisher. You have got to know your job. Uh -huh. But I would say that that goes for anything anyway. Yeah. I edit my own stuff because I was an editor in England, so yeah, I can do yeah. my own stuff. If you can't edit your own stuff, you have to go and find an editor, mm -hmm. and that costs. Mm -hmm. But don't send stuff that's rubbish unless you want to end up with a book full of rubbish. Mm -hmm. So basically you recommend uh, for young courses to self-publish mm -hmm. and go for companies like Print and Demand? I think that and, mm -hmm. Yeah, and also do your proofreading and editing properly? Yes, find, exactly. Find and out proper editor and mm -hmm. proofreader. And don't and think because you've got one lovely idea for a book that you are a writer. You are not a writer until yes. you know how to write. That's right. I used to do a lot of teaching of uh, of uh, writing classes, mm -hmm. and I was appalled by the standards, not just here but in England and so on, people who really thought they were going to be writers, and the standards were so low. I always remember saying to one class, I'm not here to teach you punctuation, but for heaven's sake learn where to put the commas. And one woman said, oh I just write what I want and then I shake them in like out of a pepper pot. I said, yes mm -hmm. I can tell from what you've written. <laughs> So don't do that. If you can't write properly, then don't get involved. Yes, yeah, but if you have good idea, oh, if you're good, yeah, if you're good, go if you for can, it. If you can actually put down mm. your ideas and then have good mm. editors, so yeah, yeah, so that's probably that's help. I think so. Okay, and now Barbara, where people can buy your books mm -hmm. if someone wants well, to they buy can, they can the buy. wonderful books here. They can buy it through me. I have a website and you can find there how to contact me. Um, or you can do it through Trafford, which I think is orders at trafford.com, or through Amazon, or through any of the online book company, mm -hmm. bookshops, which will contact me if they get an order. Yeah, but the easiest way is they just can contact directly. Straight to me. You and like I, I will send them the books. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So how they can contact you by email? Through email, as mm -hmm. you contacted me. Okay. Yes. Um, they can, it's on my uh, on my website, uh -huh. and they can contact me and put in an order, and I will mm -hmm. see that it's fulfilled. Yeah. So it was wonderful time. We had here with Barbara. Good. Yeah. And if anyone wants to buy Barbara's mm -hmm. book. They can contact directly to Barbara or go through Amazon and buy her books. So thank you very much, Barbara. You're very welcome. And thank you very much, everyone, for listening.